Hello, Trader Nerds. Welcome in. Hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous day. I wanted to show you a couple of things here. So our entire game, our entire game is this. We take risk from shorter expirations and we transfer risk to longer expirations. So what we're doing is constantly, we're, when something, we're selling stuff at 90 days to expiration, right? And by the time that gets to 60, we're closing it and reestablishing it 90. That is our game. And what we've shown uh, through the thanks of uh, Rob, uh, and I never thought about it because you know, we're always thinking, well, Tasty Works and Tasty Trades always saying 45 days. Okay, that's good too if you want to do 45 days. So why do we do 90 and go to 60? Well, we do that because on average, we're going to get 55% uh, decay in that option. So whatever we sell for a dollar, we're able to buy back for 50 cents. That's our entire game. We can simplify the TND, the, the triple donkey into that one thing. We go to 90, we close it at 60, go to 90, close it 60 over and over again. And I wanted to show you something. So this, no, that ain't it. I went out and I said, oh, let's look at the 12 Delta at 45 days, and let's look at the 12 delta at uh, high positions. Here we go. Let's go over here. Paul says, I grew up in, is that New Jersey? My glasses are so bad. Same racial issues in the 70s and 80s. You can still see segregation today with public schools and taxes in towns that are so high that few, if any, diversity is achieved. Yeah, there's a lot of things that, you know, don't um, allow you know, diversity to happen. That's, that's the case. And what they used to say in my hometown was they would not sell to anybody. Number one, if you were an out of towner and especially if you were of another color and that's how my community stayed, you know, predominantly white and, and pretty much is, is pretty much predominantly white to this day. Just kind of, it's just, it's just kind of interesting. So uh, anyway, I'm going to be started on that. So here we go. I, I wanted to show you the difference, right? Let's see what happens and why we're doing the 45, why we're doing the 60 and 90 days. So let's say we took the 12 Delta, which is around the 3,600, if I remember correctly, as I was trying this earlier today, because I wanted to show you all this. So let's say if we sold the, the 3,600, the 12 Delta, right, at uh, 48 days. So that's what Tasty Trade says, right? So let's go sell that puppy and we'll analyze the trade. Okay. There's it, right? So there's our short put. Uh, everything looks good. So on a 20% down move, and that's what everybody's scared about, and that's why we kind of test down to the 20 area. That's where I'm comfortable with risk. On the 20% down move, we're going to be down $2,020. That's going to be closer to probably $3,700 if we put volatility in there. Volatility, well, not, not quite, I guess. It's going to be $2,300 if we put the volatility. Well, 37. Here's where it is. Yeah. If we go down 20%, it's about $2,700 worth of risk to the downside. So why don't we go and look at our little 90 day? And let's see what that looks like. So let's go grab us a 90 day option and let's do the same delta, right? So we'll go to 80 days and let's look and see what that looks like. So the 12 delta is going to be about, you know, around in this area. So let's say the 3,500. Let's sell the 3,500. And let's analyze that option. Now, here's the cool part, right? As we analyze the 90-day option, let me get them both on here so you can see. Um, so there's our 12 delta at 45 days. Here's our 12 delta at uh, 90 days. Now, check this out, right? So we are able to sell the same delta, but what are we able to do? We're able to collect a $8.25 more in credit, and we're able to do what? Get farther out away from the money. Now, that's cool, y'all. That is cool, right? We're 100 points from the money, and we could go at 28.25, or you could do the 3,600 and get 20, same deltas. So let's see how this option looks. So this one, remember, the other one was going to be down 2,700. 
what are we down with the the ninety day option? We're down twenty five hundred. In that case, so we're down the same amount basically. Let's see if the market goes down twenty nine, but we're much farther out. Okay, you say, well, Bobby, that's not good at all, is it? I mean, you really you're taking the same amount of risk. I'd rather take my risk and be at thirty five hundred than the thirty six hundred. Now, let's say that we're going to take the thirty six hundred that's at twenty dollars. And we're going to close him like Tasty Works says, or Tasty, whatever it is now, Tasty Life says, and let's close that at 21 days. So let's go find that option, the 3600 at 21 days. Okay, we're doing just a little teaching here, a little bit today. So that would be right here. I'm close 21 dollars. So what will that one have gone down to? So the 3600 we're going to have to buy on the ask, right? Is now 345. Now, y'all ain't lying. That's good. That's really good. If we could go down to 21 days and something we sold for 20, we could do for $3.50. That's okay. But what I like is the sensitivity to the volatility. This says it's the same, right? It's kind of the same risk for each one of them. But if we listen to Mr. And, and Ken has, has, has modeled this, he says it the same. The volatility impact for the farther away options and the farther out in time, you know, the Black Shows model just doesn't quite, quite pick it up and give us, you know. Um, so, so our contention is, is the farther out in time and the farther away is less sensitive to, 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 the, to, to volatility, to Vega, to Vega risk. But that's pretty good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. The 28, uh, the 50, the 45 going down to what was it, 375 or something? So we would make if we took that 20 dollar option minus what we said we could buy it for the 3600, 350. So we would make 1650 on it, right? Yep, we'd make 1650 on that one. Let's go look at our 3500 at 70 something days so 3500 well we know what that one is so if we go 30 days in so that would be uh 79 minus 30 is 48 right is that 40 is that 30 yeah 40 30 78 yeah so 78 so let's see what the 3500 is here this is interesting 3500 here would decay from to 1275. So on that one, let's get another calculator so we can show the comparison. I said, let's get another calculator so we could show the comparison. Sorry, y'all. I'm Adderalled up today. Hold on a minute, Brett. We'll look at it for sure. Why am I not getting another? I want another calculator. Damn, damn it. Oh, there it is. So on that one, what do we sell that one for? 2850. Let me go to the analyze tab. 2850. Now I got calculators popping up all over the place. Yeah, 2825. So we're going to sell that one for 2825. 28.25 minus what's that one going for now? The 3500, 1275. We bought it on the ask minus 1275. 12.75 is 15.5 so see what i'm saying you know on the closer end closer to the money that one is we're going to be able to collect 16 dollars and 50 cents in this current environment right and we're going to pretend that this current environment is kind of level and it's going to keep on going or we can go down to the 3500 farther away from money and in our 30 days, we can make 15.5. See what I'm saying? To me, this has a little bit more appeal to me because I'm farther out in time. I'm farther away from, you know, the volatility. I'm farther away from the money. Um, I don't know. To me, it just seems like a better, 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 better deal, right? And the farther out we have, the speed of delta, which is gamma, has less effect. It's really non-existent for our option way out there at around the 90 days. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. Let's see what the Vega was on that option. Let's see what it said. We can look at that, Brett. Now remember, the models, 
you know, don't necessarily pick it up. That didn't really change anything, did it? So let's look at the first one. This is 45. And the vega is negative 14. So that's negative 14 on the 45. And then on the 79, the vega is negative 18. So you say, no, wait a minute, Bob. It's got more vega exposure. If if this is right, you're, you're exactly right. So Mr. Bertino, who we have clashed with before, has gone through a, and we'll show it one night on night school. We're going to have a movie night one night. One night when Beth is away and she's going to something to do something with somebody, we'll have a movie night and we'll we'll show kind of the 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 fake Vega. Okay. But isn't that cool? So now y'all kind of see what we're we're doing, right? That's why we're moving things out. We can collect basically the same credit as you could at the 45 days. But we're doing it in what I think is a much safer manner. We're going farther out of the money. You know, we're, we're I'd rather be at 3500 selling my put, collecting $28, than collecting $20 at the $3,600 at 48 days. Out. Just seems safer to me. All right, any questions on that at all? I just want to make sure we kind of went there. Yeah, give us a dollar for better protection. Yeah, yeah. I'll give up that dollar for better protection. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. So I hope everybody just kind of, you know, follow along with that. It's just one of the things people saying, I don't know, man. Tasty says go 45. Why are we not doing that, Bob? Okay, well, that's the reason. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Well, how come Tasty uh, didn't pick up on this? How come they don't do that? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. You know, I'm just showing you what the the the, the program is showing here. I'm showing what Rob showed. And said, hey, Bob, for out-of-the-money options, the decay is really steep from that 90 to 60 days. Why don't we just do that? And it just clicked in my head. And I go, dang, if he ain't right, why are we doing this 60-day? Let's move it out to 90 days. So it's, it's really, really worked well. Okay. So let's get going here. Shall we? Shall we? So let me hide my – okay, so here's my – I got my net lick up above. Oh, baby. Aw. Come on, make 16 more dollars so I can play the Jeffersons. I just want to play the Jeffersons. All right, here we go. So today is the 11th, 23, and we are at 37,815.77. Dang, nabbit. We are down $11.23. Now, why? Because the market, isn't the market up today? But I wanted to show you why we're down today. And this should take care of its. Uh, self tomorrow. So let's bring down our little Tasty account. And did I tell you why I think they're going to Tasty Live? Tom mentioned it the other day with Dylan Radigan a little bit because Dylan Radigan said, "Now when is when is it uh, the brokerage going to be called Tasty Trade?" So I think Tasty Works will soon be Tasty Trade. So if we look at VIX, I would imagine that VIX is up today. Now Bobby, VIX can't be up today because the market's up. All contraire, looks like the VIX is up just a tad, right? Just a tad. And that's why we've got a little bit of loss on that account. VIX goes up. We carry negative Vega. Bobby, the Vega doesn't affect those long out. I know, but we got we got stuff all over the place. So VIX, VIX is up just a tad, which means we're down a little bit. Now, why is VIX up a tad? Ed, Ed. Ed knows where why VIX is up to that. Ed, can you talk or you're in your little shiny britches on your elliptical machine? It's probably on his elliptical machine. Practicing with his CPI brain. stuff tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Ed sounds exactly like Matt. Matt, that is exactly right. Matt gets the gold star of the day because we got the CPI report tomorrow. So everybody's, you know, a little bit, oh, I'm scared. What if we go down 3% tomorrow? Well, hoop de do, right? We don't care. So anyway, I just wanted y'all to know why. So that should all take care of itself tomorrow. All right. So let's get our little uh, creakies in here today. So our creeks are 14 deltas and only eight thetas. Oh, be still. 14 and eight. Let's put that in. 14 and eight. 14 and eight. And VIX around 21 or so, I guess. It looks like it was close to getting in the teens, isn't it? So it's 20, 21. Come on, baby. This darn thing ain't working out. Here we go. 
and our buying pair usage is 4794. 4794. 4794. All right. So, what do y'all see? Y'all see what I see? We got to put on trades. We have got to put on trades. Okay. Now, remember, we're not going to do the full donkey today. We're going to do the one eyed frog or the one, 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 because we don't need hedges. Really? What do our positions look like? Let's see what our positions look like. So, our positions look like look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, mountain that we got here. Curve analyses. So look at that. Mm -hmm. I want a three percent pullback. Look at that. Let it happen tomorrow, baby. Let us now, Bobby, it. are you closing based on time or price or either or? Okay. So this account is a little more freehand, right? So this one is. I, I I'm probably I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'm going to try to close these at thirty days. So the naked puts that we're putting on over here, let me show you my the rest of my positions. Here's where all my naked ones are out in the 78 days now. Let's see what those look for. So after 30 days, that's my plan. The plan is take these puppies out at 30 days, right, over here. So Regardless of price. Yeah, regardless of price. And so you say, well, what if it's a loser? Well, we'll just roll it out. You know, just roll it out and collect a greater credit. No big deal. So the, the game is always this. We're always going to go 90 to 60, roll back out to 90. 90 to 60, roll back out to 90. So don't do it exactly when it gets to 60 days. Let's get us a full 30 days of decay, right? So on these that I'm selling today that are at 79, I'm going to close those when? 79 minus 30 is 49. That's my game with those. So closest to 90, close them after 30. Brett says, AT, at the money IV up to 50%, expecting a big move for CPI tomorrow. If expectations aren't met, IV will fade quickly. Indeed, it will. And you and I will get paid. Now, we'll also get paid on our little profit mountain as well, right? But, Bobby, you got positive deltas. I know. But we've seen how this thing works, right? We've seen that even though we've got bullish strategies on that the downside is pretty darn strong. So it's, it's an e interesting thing. What if you're up 50% in less than 30 days, Nick, if your plan, right. says close it, then close it. But I think what I'm going to do is I, I don't have the time or the inclination to go in and say, Hey, what's it at? Right. So you could go look at your positions and go, Hmm. What's the percentage up that that is? P and L open there. You know that's fifty two percent. That's fifty percent. Yeah, I could close those, but why am I not closing? I'm not closing them because number one, I don't need to. My theta is so barren here. I don't have enough. So you know, I could I could close them and reestablish them. I guess, but to me, you know, I'm going to avoid that commission. I'm just going to close it when I'm in thirty days. Now, cool thing is on here. You can actually, let me see if we can add that. I did this with James yesterday. Let's see what we can do. So position detail. Uh, Y'all help me find it. p &L open. There's a days in trade or something. Where is that at? There's it positions. Let's see. Positions, gamma, cost. Y'all help me find it. Mark. P and L day quote 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 days in trade or something. Oh heck, James, are you in here? Do you remember what this thing was yesterday? We put this on. Hold on, we'll find it. Well, it's definitely there. I got one. Yeah, what's it called though? I haven't got my tasty works up, oh, but I will in a second. Here it is. Days since open. I got it on here. There somewhere. you go, right there. Where's it at? I need to move it over. Oh, I'm covering it up over here. Let me move myself off the front. Yeah, days open, right? Days it's also open. on the, uh, the mobile app. Oh, good. It's on the mobile app, too. So what's this, y'all? What you need to do, here's what I need to do. I need to move this. Let me move this. I'm going to move my days open, days since open, to right here. There we go. Make it closer. Yeah, right here. So now I can see it's 79 days left. 
How many days have I been in it? 12 days. So as soon as this gets to 30, I'm going to slap it off. I'm going to take him off, right? So that's kind of cool that you can look at it like that. Yeah, that's nice. I like that much, much better. All right, so uh, it says we need a trade. So I'm not going to do a sweet bobby hedge today. There's no need to. I don't need this hedge, really, in this account. I mean, hedge is help, but the, the account, your number one, this is where your decisions are made. Always go here for the decisions. Well, Bobby, do you really need to put debit spread? Well, I don't really need it, but I kind of like putting those on with the naked put. So whatever your plan says, I want you to do your plan. You don't have to do my plan. Y'all do your plan. Because you and I could trade this same strategy and you're going to have different results than I am. You'll probably beat me, right? You'll probably beat me and do well. But I'm just going to do my little naked put and I'm going to do my little uh, put debit spread. So let's go put him in. So trade table, where we're going to go, we're going to go, I need 60 days on my put debit spread. So I'm going to go 65 because I want him to go down the mountain twice with my nakeds. I'm going to long put vertical. Get 50 wide and where I can buy him at $10. Some of y'all are doing 100 wide foot debit spread. That's fine. Some of y'all are doing 30 wide. Some of you are doing 30 wide if it's this volatility and blah, 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 whatever. I don't care. Look at there, y'all. There we got it. Uh, so, yeah, let's do this one, probably 10 and a quarter to get filled. And swing, baby. Swing. There we go. And then let's go sell our naked. And this is so easy to do, right? Closest to 90. Well, that's a 79. And let's go sell the 12 Delta. Why the 12 Delta? That, that's just where I'm comfortable. It normally gets me outside the one standard DB. Yeah. See the one? Oh, what is that? Jordan, I don't call Dwayne says, currently uh, the micros have 48, 65, 79, and 156. When will one be added between 79 and 56, 156? Yeah, that's a good question. I look at their little site trying to figure out when they're adding new stuff, and I'm telling you, I don't know who wrote that, but they were smoking something because I'm like, I can't even figure it out. I don't know. I wish there was a way that someone could explain what they wrote in English, but let me add her all up, and I'll try to go read it again and see if I can uh, figure it out. Why do I like the 12 Delta? because it gets me past the one standard deviation. That's why I like it. So I could go the 16 Delta, 15, 16 Delta, right? And be around one standard deviation. I like being just a little bit out from that. Just a tad bit. So let's do this uh, 11 Delta, 13% probability being in the money. Or some of you may say, I'm gonna go where I can get $30. Okay, go where you can get $30. That's fine too. So let's do this for 28 bucks, sell him and swing baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It makes me so mad when I don't get feel. Wait a minute, I'm gonna do that secret thing I've been reading. I am open to the pos endless possibilities that the universe has for me, and I expect this trade to fail. Nothing. Jack squat crap. Nothing. Stupid book. All right. <clears throat> so we're feeling. All right. Ta -da, I'm done. I don't have to look at it tomorrow. Bobby, you scared about the old CPI number? No, I don't care. Really. I don't care. I hope we go down 20% tomorrow. That'd be great. I can't wait for us to be in battle and see what we need to do. I'm excited about it. All right, let's look at our Crimson account. The Crimson account is at 28244. 28244. Do y'all see what I say? 28244. Ring up the band. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To the east of the high To a deal of the in the sky. Yes, yes, yes. We have made $390 this year. Bobby, that ain't too much, is it? I don't know. Pretty good to me. All right, so let's go and look at our Greeks and ratios over here. So we are at 21 again or so. And so that means our stuff is at. Don't y'all love this portfolio management stuff? I told Tom, Chosh, Tom Shoshnoff, I said, Tom, you need to let me do a show on, uh, on Tasty. I said, nobody on your show is doing this. 
uh, on your network is showing portfolio management. I said, y'all need that. He goes, well, that's not really our style. He said, but talk to me later. And I said, okay. You know, I think everybody needs to know how to manage your portfolio. 28 and 18. 28 and 18. Let's put that in. 28 and 18. Oh, you're doing that. A message in the live chat room had Liz and Jenny on this morning, and they actually mentioned you and uh, the donkey. Oh, isn't that cool? Did sure. they understand it? Were they able to open my, they said they couldn't open my, the thing I sent them, 74, I, I missed part of what they were saying. I didn't realize, yeah, you know, I wasn't expecting it. Well, you were probably on the, uh, the, the elliptical, Ed, so I don't, I didn't expect <laughs> that you'd get that. Yeah, it's my, uh, no elliptical today, every other day. Okay, every other day. Why don't you do it every day, Ed? What's your, what's your problem? You can't uh, do it every day? What's your, what's I'm, your deal? I'm trying to actually gain weight and not lose it, so. No. Oh. Well, we're talking about the old ticker, Ed. We've got to keep you around a long time. I mean. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, so Don says on January 19th, that's probably Don Kaufman, by the way. Ed probably invited him into our show. Don says on January 19th, weekly will be added. It should be about 92 days to your expiration. Oh, that's awesome. I cannot wait. So that's great. Thank you, Don. That, that's actually Don. Don does some great posts. Mm -hmm. Don is, I think, quite the strategist. Yeah. I like reading Don's post. So I just oh, that's want, awesome. It's well, not Don you, Don Kaufman. It's our own Don. And it's our very, own Don. He's very insightful and valuable. That is very good. I'm very impressed. So <laughs> thank you, Don, for that. And, and Don must be smart if he can understand what the how these things come up. Because I read it and I was like, what in the world? You know, I was sitting there eating a honey bun going, I just don't get it. So the fact that Don can figure that out is he's a smart guy. All right, so let's do the same positions over here you know i'm gonna i'm gonna let my hair down a little bit i'm gonna go two tranches in my little twenty eight thousand dollar account bobby you can't do two tranches they got the cpi tomorrow bud mm, ain't scared of no cpi 3730 3680 3730 3680 37 30 37 30 Get the 3680. And, oh, dang it. Dang it. 3680, 3730. Mm -hmm. So $10 debit. I wonder if I, I'll go 10 quarter. I ain't going to be. You know, they need to fix this so it'll do it. In, if you don't do it in a quarter increment, it will not fill. So make sure y'all do that. And I said I was going to do two tranches, didn't I? All right. So here we go 10 quarter, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter. Go, Bobby. Fill. Now, immediately, I'm going to go put that in the other account. Bobby, you hadn't looked at your Greeks. I know I need it in the other account. Trust. Uh-oh, go back to that account, grab the order. Monitor. We'll do three tranches in the other one. Create a duplicate order. We're going to go three tranches in the IRA. And a lot of y'all have been asking about IRAs. I can't tell the difference, y'all. I can't tell the difference with my IRA. Let's see. Let's see if we can tell the difference in buying power. On this, well, it won't show it. But let's see, Bobby Beth. Yeah, here it is. Let's do it. All right, so we're in. All right, so now let's go do our naked. So we'll do our nakeds in our Bobby Beth account. Let's see how much buying power that takes. So that we're going to do the thirty four ninety at seventy something days. Thirty four ninety. Come in, little girl. There you go. Oh, I've already got a short there. I don't care. I don't bother me. That body gone. I got. I thought. I, I thought I got twenty eight dollars over there. I'm gonna try for twenty seven seventy five. Market must be moving. So let's do three of them in this account. The IRA is gonna take up twenty four hundred dollars of buying power for that particular trade. All right. So let's go grab it and see what three would do in the other account. And then I'll change it back to two. So we get this. We we'll go create duplicate order and three in the well, let's see. Let me change it to crimson. What did we say? $2,400? $1,900. So $500 more for the naked. Isn't that cool? So we're in the crimson account now. Same thing. And go waka waka. Waka waka waka. Feel me, baby. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know, I'm kind of done now. Except for I'm going to need to do the stuff in this account and then we'll go to the risk profile and we'll see our risk oh 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 Ming says hey Ming 
uh, says uh, Tasty Trade is in the business of getting the most commissions and churning. That's that's true. That's how they get paid. I remember when they first started Tasty. They do you remember when they were charging like ninety nine dollars a month or something? Y'all may not remember that. Y'all may not have been with Tasty for that long, but they were doing a subscription model, and then they were feeding trades into Thinkorswim with dough. So, you know, they've adapted their model over the years. But, yeah, it's it's that's why Tom takes all these trades, right? That's why not necessarily are they interested in portfolio management because they just want trade, 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 trade. They want you to be addicted to, you know, the ding, the hitting the button and all that stuff. And we don't need to be that. We need to trade a little less often and maybe a little bigger. That's what we need to do. All right, I was going to do something. I can't remember what it was. I put my trades in. Oh, we got to figure out our breaks and ratios on this one. Oh, I should have done it before I did my trades. That's fine. I wanted to get those trades in. So we're at 107337. 107337. I'll be still. My turn. I don't know. 107. What is wrong? 107. Agate. I think I got a dead battery. In my new keyboard, I'm gonna send this back to Amazon. Stupid Logitech. Yeah, we lost 106,000. 107, 337, in 1900. So one. Uh, am I a day behind on this one? Why does it not have yesterday's date on there? I think I'm doing my dates wrong. 111, 23. There we go. 107, 337. Cue the band, Roger. Where we moving on? All right, we did three tranches over here. So today we are at 39.24. 39.24. Let's see if we improved our position. 39 and 24. Beth, get your dog. Y'all, y'all remember the little dog that I had to have his stomach pumped? Remember it cost $2,300? Y'all remember that? So, oh, I mean, I just I can't get enough gas in the tank from this one. I should have done four. Maybe we'll get a big 3% move down tomorrow, and that will I'll put in a bunch of contracts. I may do five tomorrow. Bobby, why don't you just do an ES? Okay. 15,642. 15,642. Oh, anyway, I had to give her away. Y'all remember the other day when they were, like, eating each other? Uh, I gave it to – a friend of mine and uh, his mama. So she's real happy with Roxy now, but it broke my heart having to give her away, but they were going to kill each other. And I just couldn't have that. So Sadie came first. So we kept Sadie and gave Roxy away. So we're only at 15%. Uh, yeah, this is after I put the things on. So the good thing that I did is I did increase my buying power usage from yesterday. That's good. And I was able to increase my theta just a little bit, even though I'm at Point oh two percent. How are we doing compared to the market? Right, not too good. Let's see how. Let's update this data. I need to have a button here that updates it, but maybe in the next version. So the market's up two point three four percent. We're at point three five percent. And again, that's my fault because I can't keep enough gas in the tank. I'm able to keep more gas in the tank over here in this other account. Let's see this one. So over here, we are at, uh, look at here, looky, okay, well, we're, you know, market went up big yesterday, so we're, we're doing okay, y'all, oh, I watched the Bernie Madoff thing, that's what I was going to tell y'all, what was I going to tell you about the Bernie Madoff thing, hold on a second, now give me a second, oh, the guy in there with the Bernie Madoff, they were saying, how is Bernie Madoff making 1% a month? He never loses money. Y'all, if you could make 1% a month, month in and month out with very little standard deviation of your returns, your Sortinos and your sharp ratios, you will be among the greatest fund managers on the planet. Now, oh, here's what I wanted to tell you. So the guy, you remember the guy they went to with Bernie Madoff and they said, here, we want you to kind of duplicate his returns. And the guy comes back and says, I can't. You can't duplicate them. There's no way he's doing this as Ponzi scheme. And I go, you got to be crazy. So this guy came up with a way using options to replicate making 1% a month like Bernie Madoff was making. 
he said there was only one problem. And the problem was that you could lose up to 50% of your account in a month. Well, let's look at ours, because I think that guy may have come up with our strategy, the Bernie Madoff guy. Let's see. Let's do our strategy. Let's see how much we could lose in a month. So let's hide our simulations. So we're only showing our positions. Make sure we got them all checked here. Single symbol, all six series. Here's our stuff, right? How bad could it get? How bad could it get? So, and this guy that replicated strategy, he did indexes. So he was doing index. He said, I can't do it on regular stock. So this is kind of what that guy come up with. So how bad would it get? Let's take vol out first and just look at the single expiration. 5% down, we're down $788. If we go down 12%, we're down $6,000 in a $108,000 account. If we go down 20%, OB still my heart, we're down $23,471. That looks bleak, y'all. That's losing not quite 25% of our account, right? It gets worse as we put volatility in there with the rising VIX. So with a 20% down move here, we're losing 55,000, about 50% of our account, a little less than 50% of our account. That's our. That's what I think is our kind of worst case risk. So what do we do? You know, we'll have circuit breakers that are going to stop after 7%. So right here, circuit breakers kick in, right? So there's time for us to think about our next move. What are we going to do? We're going to take these things that are out at 60 days now or 79 days, and I would roll it out to that 100 and whatever day. I mean, that's what we got to do. We could either roll it into a 112 or we could roll it into a 111 and put them farther out in time. I would probably sell some micro futures to get my deltas back in line, right? So our deltas would be 700. This is micro delta. So this would be 700 SPY deltas. So I could actually sell one future and still be long 200 deltas. So you got to kind of know, right? If it happens, what are we going to do? So I can't wait for the day, y'all, when we get together and we go, oh my gosh, I'm down so much, you know, blah, 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 blah. What are we going to do? I think we know what to do. Now you say, well, I don't want to take that kind of risk. I'm not going to go down $50,000 in my $108,000 account. Then don't do it. You know, sell your little credit spread, do your little iron condor, and you're going to lose money every year. You're going to lose money every year. So what could you do? We've talked about this before. Um, it's a good show, accurate. Lived through it when I worked at hedge funds that refused to invest in his fund due to secrecy and shady management. Yeah, because, you know, watching that, uh, and you need to watch it, y'all. It's on Netflix. It's like a four or five part uh, on Bernie Madoff. It's like you couldn't tell anybody that Bernie Madoff was your fund manager because if you found out that Bernie Madoff, if he found out that you said that he was your fund manager, then he would fire you from investing in his fund. It's just crazy. Funny how they show a collar options trade when explaining the dynamic spread. Yeah, and I forget what they said his thing was. What did they say his? I can't remember. Anyway, this is really, really, really cool. Y'all need to watch it. It's really good. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. If you don't want to take the risk, then don't do this strategy. There's no risk of strategy. So you can sit here and you can sell little credit spreads in the micros. You can do a little iron condor in the micro, and you're probably not going to make any money. You're probably not. So, you know, knock yourself out. And if you want to do it on the call side, because that gives you a little hedge to the downside, that's fine. It's just harder on the call side. I just kind of like what we're doing. We know the risk. I know the risk. Hey, I may lose $50,000, but I'm going to be in business the next day. What we're going to do, we're going to roll them out in time. We're going to wait for it to recover. You know, the SP 500 is always going to go up because we are a country of the corporation, for the corporation, and by the corporation. And as long as Nancy Pelosi is in office, we are going to protect the corporation because her husband has got to make all those trades. He's good at it. She's good at it, you know? So let's keep them in business. Let's keep it going. It's a great stuff. And it's fun. Gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. I sit there at night and I go, how lucky are we in a world where we could be doing anything? This is what we do with our days. Isn't this fun? Go to the gym, go eat uh, breakfast at the Waffle House, 
I got my my uh, my hash browns scattered with no oil, 554 calories for the whole meal with wheat toast and no butter on the bread. I mean, life is good. What more do you need? So good. I got my eggs over medium. Got to squish them up with a little runny center. Oh, man. Got me a, a little, one little pack of strawberry jelly just to add a little sweetness on it. Man. Loaded them eggs up with pepper and got me three slices of bacon for 111 calories. Bacon, three slices, 111 calories. Life is good. Yeah, so if y'all don't want to do this, just put your money in uh, SPY, reinvest the dividends, and keep going. But what's going to happen with your $100,000 if you're down 20% in the market? You're going to be down 20000 on that account. I think we can outperform the SP 500. I think we can. We just gotta, we just gotta keep on keeping on. Yeah, no risk, no reward. That's that's exactly the way it is. Every time, Nancy. Hey, you gotta take risks, y'all. You got to. Didn't you take a risk when you got married? Those of you that are married, didn't Beth take a risk? Huh? Now I hate to say, but the risk is paid off handsomely by these ladies like myself. But uh, we all take a risk. You know, some of y'all are married with crazy lunatics. Maybe you're miserable, right? You're like, oh, man, I took a risk and that didn't pay off. Okay. Maybe you're the lunatic. Maybe I'm the lunatic. Maybe we've all taken these risks. I mean, we don't know. You got to take risk. That's what I'm going to tell my little college kids tomorrow. Hey, kids, you got to take risk. You know, I know we... We did you wrong. We made you wear helmets on every stinking bicycle and everything that you were on. You know, you had to have a safety belt when you got in the car. I was playing in the floorboard. You know, mama smoking cigarettes, throwing the ashes in the floorboard, and there I was too. I was like, mama, don't throw them down here. It may get burnt. Mama's like, oh, you fine. Just brush it off. I mean, those were the days. You know, we took risks back in the days so gotta take risk no risk no reward you gotta remember when you were younger so we mo mostly men in here you asked the hot gal out well she turned you down well that's her loss then you gotta go and you ask the next one out right you just kept on you go somebody somewhere is going to probably go out with me and all of a sudden you ask somebody out and they actually went out with you you like wow Hey, that worked. I took a risk. Risk, 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 risk. Take a risk. Oh, I'm so old, Bobby. I can't take risks. Oh, come on. Come on. Have some fun. Have some fun. This stuff is, this stuff is great. Yep. OV, that's right. No such thing as riskless anything in life. Calculated risk is a different story. And you guys are absolutely pursuing the calculated one. That's what we're doing. It is a calculated risk, and we love doing it. 